Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is the brand new Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom, Pipes. Now, I lucked out the other day and found Pipes and Slammer both at my Walmart when I went to pick up something at lunch for the wife for Christmas, and I totally would have missed these two because they were hid way in the back behind a bunch of other deluxes, mainly Black Arachnias and Shadow Panthers. And if it wasn't for the awesome box art here on the side, I would have totally missed these guys. So the bot we're looking at in this video is of course Pipes. And taking a quick look at the packaging, we got Transformers, War for Cybertron Kingdom. You got Pipes here behind the plastic, Pipes in truck mode and robot mode with more of that great Kingdom artwork. Back of the packaging, we got pipes once again in robot mode and truck mode. This side of the packaging is more of that great Kingdom artwork that we've all gotten pretty used to by now. So now, without further ado, let's get pipes opened up out of this packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get pipes all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, are very well illustrated and easy to follow. He also comes with a trading card, and once again, I get the Ark. Sick of the Ark. Pipes also comes with two pipes, or his blasters, and those are in a nice silver collar. And then, of course, we've got pipes himself. Now, when I first saw images of Pipes here, I was a little disappointed because unlike his mold mate Huffer, Road Ranger, and his repaint of Puffer, Pipes has white arms instead of the silver arms. And I really didn't like that until I started researching a little bit and realized that Pipes in the Generation 1 cartoon didn't have silver arms, he had white arms. So Hasbro, good on you, bad on me for not remembering. So first things first, let's go ahead and take Pipe's silver weapons and we'll attach those right here on his forearms. Now, of course, they can go here up top on the forearm as I showed, or they can be wielded as handheld weapons. Pipe's in the generation one cartoon and comic had the weapons attached to his forearms, so that makes him look a lot better and more aesthetically pleasing to his G1 self. Now, taking a closer look at Pipes compared to Huffer here, as I went over with my Puffer review, even though these two share the same skeletal structure, they are completely different molds, aside from a couple of areas, including the crotch piece here and the legs. The rest of the figure, it's a completely different mold than Huffer. And taking a closer look at the head sculpt, love the head sculpt, very G1. I like the fact they got the nose molded in, opposed to Puffer here. Now Puffer has the same helmet style, but as you can see, Puffer has the red visor where Pipes has the nose and blue eyes. So I do like that. Lots of great molded details all over pipes here. Almost called him Puffer. All kinds of molded details over pipes here. I really like it. Big difference, as I said, from Huffer. 
And I think he looks really, really good and very, very close to his Generation 1 counterpart. Now, the cab area that folds up over his back, you can actually bring that up to make this pipes look more like the G1 version. Even has the Autobot insignia right there over his left shoulder. Doing this, though, gives him one hell of a backpack. So... It's something you can do if you choose. Now, articulation for pipes, the same as all the others. The head is on a ball joint, can do a complete 360. Arms can do a complete 360. Bicep bend, bicep rotation, legs forward, back, out, in, and waist rotation. The mine is very, very tight. So really a nice looking addition to your G1 Minibot upgrades. Now let's go ahead and get pipes transformed into truck mode and very simple transformation. We'll go ahead and remove the pipes. You wanna point the arms straight back like so. Make sure the fists are facing each other like that. And we're gonna take the waist section and just pull that completely down. Pull the arm pieces out like so and then bring the wheels out and these always have an issue with clearance so you kind of want to hold the wheel in as you move down otherwise it's going to pop right off now this is my first time transforming pipes and that wheel is sticking okay there we go so now you're going to take the cab section here rotate that around and then you're going to bring it up and over pipes or the head of pipes the body of pipes man can't talk this morning rushing this review getting it out before we head out for our christmas festivities so now you're going to tab in the arms right there on the back of the cab like so do that on both sides take the fists and fold the fists in toward each other so you've got the front part of the cab done Take the heel spurs, flip those all the way around. Go ahead and tab the legs together if you choose. I actually tab mine together when I have them folded back up like so. And then you can actually, if you want, tab the feet in to the back of the trailer there. But when you tab that in, it causes the vehicle to bow. So I usually don't do that. Let me untab that. Those are tight. So untap that a little bit here. And those go in a lot tighter than the other three versions of this mold. Get the back piece together like so. Now you're going to take his pipes, his weapons, and they attach here on the back. So there you have pipes in vehicle mode. And as I said with Puffer, I don't like the fact that the pipes just lay on the back like he's you know carrying some construction equipment around i prefer the pipes to be on the arms like so but unfortunately it just makes him look too wide unless you have him transporting earthrise optimus prime's trailer and then it really doesn't look too bad having the pipes on the side it kind of blends in with the trailer so it doesn't look so off-putting so i actually think that looks really cool big shout out to bertha stormtrooper for showing this off i dig it the blue of pipes really works with optimus prime's trailer now i do want to point out the paint applications on pipes truck mode i think it looks really good here on the front with the silver details on the grill the lights and the bumper the wheels look fantastic just like the other molds and I appreciate the fact that they painted the side mirrors and windshield wipers. I think that looks really good. And along the back, they actually gave him taillights. Usually these figures never get taillights unless Toy Hacks hooks them up. Once again, you have translucent windows right there on the cab. And as I said with the other versions of this mold, with pipes, I don't mind it too much because the robot junk doesn't really look like robot junk on the inside so i can give those translucent windows a pass so there you go guys there is pipes in truck mode
And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Pipes with Earthrise Optimus Prime, Generation 1 Pipes, His Mold Mate, War for Cybertron Kingdom Huffer, and War for Cybertron Kingdom Golden Disc Collection Puffer. And here's a nice shot of all four of these molds all put together. And what I really like is you can manipulate the weaponry and the cabs to really make these guys look like completely different figures. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Pipes is another fantastic use of the Huffer mold, which has become one of my favorite molds over the last year in the Kingdom line. Just like the others, this figure has a great robot mode, Fairly decent truck mode. I love how you can utilize Optimus Prime's trailer with him. And I love how you can manipulate the cab area on the robot mode to really change up his look and make him look more G1. So there you go, guys. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Pipes. So, does a Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Pipes belong in your collection? Absolutely. I love this figure. I love this mold. As I said in the review, this has become one of my favorite molds that the Kingdom line has used over the last year. I mean, we've got four different figures from this mold, and they look completely different. Now, my one complaint, I do wish I got pipes before I got Puffer here, because getting Puffer first kind of dwindled my excitement for pipes. But nonetheless, this is an awesome figure, and with the new head sculpt compared to Puffer, they do look completely different, you know, aside from the paint applications. Plus, I love how you can manipulate the cab on their back to really change up the look. As you can see, I've got pipes here looking more G1 with Puffer with the cab over his shoulders. So yes, you see pipes on this shelf. Don't hesitate. Pick him up. You are not going to be disappointed. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it is support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Also, from my family to yours, have a very Merry Christmas. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!